Which of today's four teams will join Bellarmine and Homestead High Schools in our final four? Find out next on Quiz Kids. It's the Bay Area Quiz Kids. Brought to you by the San Mateo Credit Union. And now, the best host on the West Coast, Brad Friedman. Thank you, everybody. Welcome to Quiz Kids. We have four terrific teams who make up the rest of our Elite Eight for this season on our show today. Let's meet two of them right now. We have the Valley Christian Warriors. And the Westmore Rams. Welcome, gentlemen. Thanks for making it so far on your great play. Let's start with our first toss-up. Good luck to both teams. He was the last Whig to win a presidential election. Who was the victorious general at the Battle of Buena Vista who died in office in 1850? Das Ball. William Henry Harrison. That is wrong. You can steal it, Valley Christian, and you can, can, you can uh, talk to each other. Zachary Taylor. You got it. Nice. For 25 points. Which president died at San Francisco's Palace Hotel in 1923 during his Voyage of Understanding tour? Okay, it's uh, William Henry Harding. Omid? Harding. That is right. For 50 points. Which president was assassinate, assassinated by Charles Guiteau in 1881? Garfield. You got 50 points. Yes. Here's your next toss-up. Taiwan and mainland China have few heroes in common, but one is what pioneer of Chinese nationalism, sometimes called China's George Dosball? Sun Yat-sen. That is right. The George Dosball of China. <laughs> the George Washington of China is Sun Yat-sen. For 25 points, which of Sun's protégés went on to become premier of the Republic of China until his death in 1975? Chiang uh, Chiang Kai-shek. That is correct. And for 50 points, Chiang's Nationalist Party was known by the initials KMT. What is the full name of that party? Kuomintang. Defer. Kuomintang. That is right for 50 points. <laughs> Next toss-up. This American author's best-known work is a novel about Civil War soldier Henry Fleming. Who is that? Yes, Dilip. Uh, Stephen Crane. Correct. The Red Badge of Courage. For 25 points, Crane also wrote what short story about four shipwrecked men, including an oiler named Billy? Open boat. That is right. And for 50 points, in which other Crane story is the coachman, Henry Johnson, disfigured while saving his employer's son from a fire? Omid? No answer. It's called The Monster. But you have a lead of 75 over 50 points. Let's take a moment and meet our players. Dilip. You are on the debate team. Is there a debate class or a public speaking class at Valley Christian? Actually, there is. I'm actually taking it this year. That's fantastic. So few schools have that. And your team's doing really well. Yeah, and we've gone to the state champs. We've really expanded this year, too. So we have about 50 members from, uh, I don't know, 20 members last year. And fantastic. we're actually interested in doing a debate camp this summer as well. That's wonderful. You get some great public speakers out of your school. Omid, um, you have been uh, writing poetry. You were yeah. kind of inspired by an English project, and now yeah. you found your poet's soul. Yes, yes. Um, what does that soul look like, Omid? <laughs> uh, I haven't gone that far deep inside myself Not yet, yet uh, but you're getting yeah, there. I'm getting there. But yeah. you feel inspired by certain, certain authors? Yes, yes. Um, I, draw, I draw inspiration from uh, Emerson uh -huh. and uh, Dylan Thomas. Yeah, Those are kind of two different people. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. different different aspects of uh, romanticism and modernism, but I cool. think inspiration from both. Yeah. Well, do not go gentle into that good night, Emerson. Yeah. <laughs> the other one, yeah. I know. Um, Ashish, you are a sports fan. Yes, I am. So you're not very happy to be here because as we're filming, what's going on? There's a Warriors game going on right now. And what what sport do they play? Basketball. Oh, that's cool. I didn't I didn't know that. I <laughs> Quiz Kids host. Anyway, uh, is is basketball like your sport? You love that. Um, that's one of my main sports. I um, also am a huge fan of baseball and football. Okay. Mm. Those are gaining in popularity as well, I hear. <laughs> I'm moving on, Ashish. I'm sorry you're here. I'm glad you're here. Westmore Rams, Andrew, you have found out that you are going to UCLA next year. 
Uh, yeah, I plan on <clears throat> majoring in physiological science. What does that mean? Uh, studying like biological processes that happen in your body, like why it functions the way it like functions. Like why we burp and why we... That too. <laughs> that too. And other more important things. Yeah. Good for you. Congratulations. It's a great you. school and a beautiful, beautiful campus. Brandon, you are going to be spending this summer in Chicago... Yeah, so um, FBLA's National Leadership Conference for this year is in Chicago, so I'll go there with uh, some of the other Westmore FBLA for how long? members. Uh, about five days. Have you ever been to Chicago before? No, I haven't. Great town. <laughs> Try and get on that archaeological uh, arch architectural boat tour. Uh, the archaeological one digs. No, architectural <laughs> boat tour and go to the Art Institute. Amazing, amazing art. Das Ball, Hi. your friend Andrew is leaving you. He's going on to UCLA, but oh, you're going to have a big summer project together before he goes. Yeah, so uh, Andrew's always been very musically inclined. Uh, you know, he played, he learned to play the piano by ear. Uh, but this year he'll be doing something a little more different, and that is uh, he'll be attempting to produce a mixtape uh, of with you. Rap. Uh, no, I'll just be helping him, but he'll be the main guy. Um, it'll be some rap and R&B. And uh, he really likes Beyonce, so this was kind of his ode to her. His ode to her, although you did, you're did, you going to throw in a little Wiz Khalifa in there as yes, well. Yes, right? exactly. Absolutely. Well, he was on Saturday Night Live, yes. Good luck to Andrew on his project, and thank you, Das Ball, for helping him live his dream. Thank you. Let's move on to the next question, and next toss-up is this. Playa Giron Beach saw most of the fighting during this military operation. The CIA engineered what? Omid? Bay of Pigs invasion. That is right. The failed invasion of Cuba. For 25 points, the Bay of Pigs invasion was meant to depose which Cuban leader? Castro. Castro. That is right. For 50 points, the invasion was advocated and planned by which CIA lead? Oh, um, is it the guy? Uh, Hoover? Um, no, it was Alan Dulles. Here's your next toss-up. Which publisher of the Smasher's Mail was arrested 30 times for attacking bars with hatchets? Omi. Nation. That is right, Carrie Nation. For 25 points, which enforcer of prohibition in Chicago led a team of law enforcers known as the Untouchables? Oh, gosh. Ness. Elliot Ness. For 50 points, which Minnesota Republican sponsored the National Prohibition Act of 1919 that was better known by his surname? I have no answer. It was Andrew Volstead, the Volstead Act. Next toss-up. In 1971, this river was dammed to create Lake Nasser. What is the longest river in Africa? Omid. Nile. That is right. For 25 points, Lake Nasser was created by which dam that forced the relocation of the Abu Simbel Temple Complex? Aswan High Dam. That is correct. And for 50 points, the Abu Simbel complex lies about 30 miles north of Egypt's border with what country whose southern states seceded in 2011? Sudan. You did get 50 points. Congratulations. <laughs> Next toss up. In his essay collection, Brave Companions, David McCullough wrote about which unexpected author of Uncle Tom's Cabin? <laughs> Ashish. Harriet Beecher Stowe. That is right. For 25 points, one of the figures depicted in McCullough's work, The Greater Journey, was which author of the Leather Stocking Tales? Oh. Cooper. James Fenimore Cooper. That's right. For 50 points, McCullough was, has also written about which 1889 Pennsylvania disaster caused by the failure of a structure owned by the South Fork Fishing and Hunting Club? It's flooded. The flooded. Jamestown flood? It is not. It's the Johnstown flood. That is the end of the round. Westmore has 50 points. Valley Christian has 200. We'll be right back to see who wins this match in just a moment. Welcome back. Let's give a big hand to the coaches for both these teams who've guided them throughout the season. First, from Valley Christian, Ms. Chicha Ascari. And from Westmore, Mr. Alan Bronstein. Thank you both for your hard work. All right. Westmore, you have 50 points. You want to get the lead back. So we have three categories. Each question, each correct answer is worth 30 points. You need five correct answers to tie the score. Today's categories are coins, cities, or composers. Which category would you like? Cities. 
cities. Okay, I'm going to ask you to name the country which contains this second most populous city. Milan. Italy. Italy. That is correct. Quito. Brandon, your answer. Japan. No, it's Ecuador. You need to get all the rest of the questions correct to stay alive. Oh, God. Hanoi. Hanoi. Vietnam. That is right. Oran. Brandon. Saudi Arabia. I'm sorry, Westmore, it's Algeria. <laughs> Valley Christian, you are moving on to our final four. Westmore team, thank you for joining us this season. Andrew, good luck at UCLA. We'll see you guys in a week, and we will see you in a few minutes with our next pair. Don't go away. We have one more space left in our final four, which we will play out next week. So you'll join us then. Let's find out which team it's going to be as we meet our final two in the Elite Eight. Over here, we have the Mission San Jose Warriors. And they are facing off against the Mountain View Spartans. I should have made you all wear armor. Spartans wear, that would have been really cool. Anyway, good luck, you guys. And Ella, in this match, here's your first toss-up question. In 1798, Congress passed three acts granting wide presidential authority to detain or arrest politically active immigrants. What was the collective name for those laws? Karthik. The Alien and Sedition Acts. That is correct. For 25 points, two states' legislatures passed resolutions holding the acts unconstitutional. Name either one of those states. Kentucky. Kentucky and Virginia was the other one. For 50 points, the acts were in response to an undeclared naval quasi-war with what nation? France. And you've earned 50 points. <laughs> Next toss-up, the Menai Strait separates its isle of Angsley from the mainland. What is this political unit of the United Kingdom that lies in the western part of Great Britain? Kevin. Northern Ireland? No, that's incorrect. You can steal Mission San Jose, and you can discuss it among yourselves for a few seconds. Wales. That's right. For 25 points, the River Taff flows through which Welsh capital? Cardiff. Cardiff. Right, and for 50 points, Cardiff lies on which channel that is the namesake of a historically important port city of Western England? Uh, <coughs> Carthic. Labrador. Bristol. Sorry. Next toss-up. The protagonist of this novel travels to Fort Yukon with Grey Beaver. What's this novel about a Canadian wolf dog who travels to San Francisco with Whedon Scott? Yes, Karthik. White Fang. That is right. For 25 points, White Fang was written by which American novelist? London. That is correct. Jack London. For 50 points, Jack London was al also wrote which short story about a man whose feet become wet on a cold Yukon day? Yeah, yeah. Okay, differ. Differ. To build a fire. That is right, for 50 points. All right, 125 for Mission San Jose. Mountain View has left yet to score, but let's stop and say hello to our team members. Kelvin, you are going to be visiting family this summer. Yeah. Uh, and where are you going? I'm going to China. It's uh -huh. uh, the first time I visited my relatives in four years, and we're probably going after Shanghai to Xi'an to see the Terracotta Army. The Terracotta Army. You skipped over your family because you were excited that we'd asked a question in the last match about the Terracotta Army. Yeah. Always, always place family before the Terracotta Army. That's my family's rule. It should be yours. Thank okay? You. Have a great trip, Kelvin. Right, thank you, sir. Karthik, this summer you're going to go to Philadelphia. Yeah, so I'm going to be participating in a program at the University of Pennsylvania called the Management and Technology Summer Internship. Uh huh. And what will you be doing there? Yeah, so we're going to build a prototype of something using technology, and we're going to present it to professors, students, anyone who comes to the fair. Anoop, you're going to UC San Diego this summer to participate in a program called Cosmos. That sounds very interesting. Yeah, so Cosmos is a math and science program, and then the cluster I'll be doing is called Computers in Everyday Life. So we'll be working out how to code for Android apps and program robots and basically learn about how technology. It sounds like you all three have really great summer plans. Good luck to you. Let's say hi to the Mountain View Spartans. Ella, 
You are barely standing because you were in your lacrosse tournament yesterday and it was a pretty brutal one, I hear. Yeah, an hour and a half of running, three games. But how did you do? We did okay. None of us have really ever played before, so. Yes, I remember you saying you kind of got thrown into the whole lacrosse yeah. experience as, as a newbie and uh, you're learning as you go. Yeah. And paying the price for it with muscles pummeled. Yep. To, okay, well, congratulations for being here. Kevin. Um, you are taking four AP tests next week. This is when we're taping right before the AP week. I'm sure you're glad to be here <laughs> instead of studying for those tests. I'm very glad to be here. Four in a row. What are yeah. you taking? I am taking Calc VC, U.S. History, Computer Science, and Physics 1. So. Well, con good luck to you. Thank because you. Because if you do well on those, you can like skip the first year of college or something like that. Hopefully. So, hopefully. hopefully. Good for you. Deo, you've been working on a really cool community service project, and you're about 101 cards into it. Tell us about this project. Yeah, it's for my club, uh, the Quiz Kids Club, and it's about the periodic table. And you're making flashcards for who? Uh, my chemistry class. Oh, for, the, for your fellow students. Yeah. Shouldn't they be making their own flashcards? Or they're yeah, just saying, hey, Dale's doing it for community service. I don't have to bother. Yeah, I guess. You're very kind. Very kind. Good luck to you guys. And I know Mountain View wants to get this next question. So let me slowly ask this next. Toss up. They can cause saturated soil to act as a liquid. Kelvin. Earthquakes. How did you know that? <laughs> Did you write this question? <laughs> that is right, earthquakes for 25 points. In addition to liquefying soil, earthquakes can create what ultra-long water waves, sometimes inaccurately called tidal waves? Tsunami. Tsunami. That is right, tsunamis, and for 50 points. Deep focus earthquakes occur in what zones where one tectonic plate pushes another down into the mantle? Subduction, Subduction zones. And you've got 50 points, yes. This lover of Aspasia gave a notable funeral oration after the first year of the Peloponnesian War. Who was this general and statesman who died? Yes, Kelvin. Pericles. Correct. For 25 points, Pericles led during the golden age of which ancient Greek city-state? Athens. Athens. Right, and for 50 points, Pericles oversaw the development of the Acropolis, including the construction of which temple to Athena? Athena, Parthenon. Parthenon? No, she said Parthenon. That's right, for 50 points. Listen to Kelvin. <laughs> Next toss up. John Adams and Charles Pinckney were members of which political party formed by Alexander Hamilton? Carthic. The Federalists. That is right. For 25 points, William Henry Harrison and Henry Clay were supporters of what party that opposed Andrew Jackson? The Democrat. Wow. I'm thinking. Yeah, Carthage. The, the Republicans. The Whig Party. Oh, yeah. yeah. Next toss up. Denali National Park is in the center of this state. Yes, Kevin. Alaska. Correct. For 25 points. The mountain known as Denali is also named for what U.S. president? McKinley. McKinley. Correct. And for 50 points. North of Mount McKinley and the rest of the Alaska Range is which city on the Tanana River the most populous in Alaska's interior? Fairbanks. You got 50 points. You are on the board. Here's your next toss-up. The history of all hitherto existing society is the history of class struggle. That quote is by which author of Yes, Kevin? Karl Marx. Yes, who wrote Das Kapital. For 25 points, which economist collaborated with Marx on the Communist Manifesto? Engels. Friedrich Engels, and for 50 points, according to the last paragraph of the Communist Manifesto, the world's workers should unite as they have nothing to lose but what? Kevin. The uh, chains? You got 50 points! <laughs> Coming from behind! She kept saying it, you wouldn't listen to her. Oh my God, 100 points for Mountain View, 235 for Mission San Jose. We'll be right back to find out who the final team in the final four is. Don't go away. <laughs> Welcome back, and let's say thank you to the coaches for both teams. First from Mission San Jose, Dr. Charlie Brucker. 
And from Mountain View, Ms. Sarah McWay and Mr. Chris Chang. Thank you so much, coaches. Okay, Mountain View, the correct answers will each be worth 30 points. You need five correct answers to take the lead. And here are today's categories. Canadian provinces, English poets, and tall buildings. Which category would you like? Uh, tall buildings. Tall buildings, all right. Name the cities where these skyscrapers and other tall buildings are found. Good luck. The Eiffel Tower. Paris. Paris. Right. A Burj Khalifa. Dubai. Right. The Shard. London. That is correct. CN Tower. Toronto. You've got it. Prudential Tower. Boston. You've taken the lead. One Liberty Place. Philadelphia. That's correct. And finally, the Patronus Towers. Kuala Lumpur. You got them all right for 310 points. Well played. All right, Mission San Jose, you need three correct answers to win the game and become the last member of our final four teams. Will you take Canadian provinces or English poets? English poets. English poets. Which English poets wrote these works? The dramatic monologue Ulysses and the poem Crossing the Bar. Joyce. No, it was Alfred Lord Tennyson. Oh. Oh. The dramatic monologue, My Last Duchess. Browning. That is correct. The sonnet, On First Looking into Chapman's Homer. No, Karthik. Um, Arnold. It was John Keats. Oh. Uh, the poems, Kublai Khan and the Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. Coleridge. Coleridge. That is right. You need one more correct answer, and you'll become part of our final four. The Sick Rose and the Tiger, which appear oh, in his Blake. Songs of Experience. Blake. And you won your place in the final four. Congratulations. <laughs> Mountain View, it was a great season. Well played. Thank you for being with us. Bellarmine, Homestead, Valley Christian, and Mission San Jose will be back next week to take part in our final four tournament. Don't miss it. Till then, I'm Brad Freeman saying bye-bye. 